Alright guys, hey, so I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. I want to talk about moisture and protein balance. If y'all recall the series that I started with the natural hair uh, Q&A advice videos where you guys send in um, your questions to me at my email address. And if I feel like it's something that um, other people here on the channel can relate to and get uh, help from, then I'll answer your question here on the channel. So that helps everybody. And um, I got a couple of questions regarding moisture and protein balance uh, a few months ago, but I couldn't really touch on that because I hadn't really experienced both. Um, I haven't experienced, uh, experimented with protein um, to know, you know, the whole full moisture protein balance scenario. So I have done my first protein treatment earlier this year, and I'm going to talk about my experience with that. But first, let's discuss moisture and protein balance so moisture and protein balance you, your hair needs to have both moisture and protein balance for it to be in optimal health and condition on top of you know maintaining your the health of your ends and all of that and porosity or whatever um moisture uh, we know moisture is water moisture you get moisture from your deep conditioners you get moisture from your moisturizing products um and moisture um softens your hair it um, revitalizes your hair and it adds elasticity. Um, elasticity is when your hair is able to stretch and revert back to its original shape when it's released or um, its original length. Uh, protein, on the other hand, adds strength. It gives structure to the hair. Um, and so your protein is what keeps your hair from breaking apart when the hair is stretched or when the hair is manipulated. So. Um, you kind of have to find that that balance for your hair and that's going to vary depending on person to person if you're someone that chemically treats the hair whether it be with color or whether it be with a relaxer or a texturizer or you know any type of chemical process you're going to need to incorporate more protein into your routine with your hair because those chemical processes um, it um, those, oh, I lost my train of thought. I hate it when that happens. Those chemical processes, um, it takes away from the protein structure of your hair. Those chemical processes are harsh and it weakens your hair because it um, breaks a lot of those protein bonds that your hair needs for strength. And that's why your hair is, tends to be more weaker, drier, prone to breakage, and stuff like that. You have to get that protein into that hair. For someone that is you know just natural they don't have any type of chemical process in there in their hair they don't need they don't use heat a lot um, they're not going to need as much protein because natural hair is just full of protein um, because we don't have we don't use heat on our hair a lot we don't have chemical processes going on that's weakening and breaking our protein bonds down so our hair is pretty much good when it comes to protein our biggest issue for our virgin nat natural hair is just keeping moisture in the hair um, and sometimes we can go a little bit overboard with that and over moisturize our hair how do you know when your hair is over moisturized I've done this before it's not a myth it actually exists you can over moisturize your hair back when a couple years ago maybe even three or four years ago when I first started out my hair journey um, I was still trying to figure out how to keep my hair moisturized and I, my, I remember my hair felt really really dry so I just took it upon myself to just slap in some you know Cantu shaver and leave-in conditioner and every time I took a shower I would put on a shower cap and deep condition with that conditioner in my hair every single day and um, I remember I would always take off the shower cap and it would feel so soft and moisturized and just luscious and I remember a couple weeks after the fact I found that my hair felt really mushy, soft, limp, and gummy. It just didn't feel like hair. It just felt, it just felt gross. It felt like wet spaghetti noodles, if that makes any sense. Um, and so that's when my hair was over moisturized. And your hair will feel like that when it's over moisturized. To correct over moisturized hair, you introduce protein into your hair, which means that to correct that issue, I would have had to use some type of reconstructing um, conditioning treatment. Not necessarily a protein treatment, but just something to introduce protein until I level out the scales of moisture and protein. Um, 
if you are chemically treated or you have chemical processes on your hair, you will need to incorporate a protein treatment, an actual protein treatment. So here I have two products here uh, from Afflogy. This is the Afflogy 2 Minute Keratin 2 Minute Reconstructor and this is the Afflogy 2 Step Protein Treatment. I have not used this protein treatment. I have used this reconstructor though and I love it. Whenever my hair feels like it needs a little boost of you know protein and strength, this is what I'll grab and use. Um, this is a uh, like it says a reconstructor if you check out my video my college told you one on one video on conditioners I break down specifically the different types of deep conditioners and when you should use them so when you feel like your hair is beginning to break a lot more it feels a lot weaker this is what I grab my two-minute keratin reconstructor um, it gives just the right balance of protein to where it's not going to overload your hair with protein but it's going to help you know normalize the protein moisture balance in your hair i have not used this i don't plan on using this anytime soon i don't know why i still have it i'm gonna just hold on to it you know for some somebody i don't know maybe a client will need it or something but like i said earlier this year i did do a protein treatment on my hair and uh, a product company sent me the protein uh, treatment to try out and feature on the channel, but I decided not to. Um, not because of my experience with the protein treatment, I just didn't want to post the video on my channel. But um, because, you know, i never done it before, so I was a little bit intrigued to see how my hair would respond to it. As you guys recall in my What's My Hair Type video, I touched on the fact that one of my biggest issues with my hair is having a lot of breakage um, and having so many uh, split ends just naturally develop in my hair. So I thought maybe a protein treatment would help to rectify that situation. So I tried out the protein treatment. It was really, really easy. Um, and, you know, protein treatments are a liquid based protein that you apply in your hair and you let the protein sit and get absorbed into your hair and let it process. And most protein treatments like this uh, Afflogy protein treatment, the keratin or the, the protein will harden and make your hair really, really hard and stiff. Um, and then you just rinse it out and, you know, follow up with whatever the instructions say. So this particular protein treatment I use, I followed all the steps to the T and um, my hair just felt Sorry, I just ate a, a whole pizza, so I'm like gassy. My hair just felt really, um, it felt different. It felt harder, if that makes a sense. Protein coats your hair. So when your hair is coated like that, anybody that's had a uh, keratin smoothing treatment, you know how your hair feels different. You know, like it just, it feels like something's on your hair, but you can't see it. Yeah, that's what it felt like with my hair, except in its natural state. It just felt stiffer and firmer or hard, harder is not really the right word. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it just felt like that. Um, it also felt drier for a couple of weeks after the fact. Um, and I didn't necessarily have protein overload. But I could feel that shift in the protein moisture balance. And it felt like it was shifting more, a little bit too much protein than I needed, but not exactly overload. So um, it was very easy for me to normalize my moisture protein balance. So um, yeah, I don't really need protein like that. I've come to realize because I don't heat style, I don't have any chemicals in my hair. My hair is pretty much in a healthy state. All I really need to focus on is moisture. And a lot of the time, you get your protein from your deep conditioners. A lot of deep conditioners out there that we use, you, if you read the ingredients, they do contain some form of protein. But the protein is balanced with the moisture. It's usually more moisture than protein. And those are reconstructors. Again, Cosmetology 101, con uh, conditioners, video, check it out. All the information's in there. But, yeah. So when I need protein, I know that I'm getting all the protein that I do need, the little protein that I do need from those reconstructors and those deep conditioners that I'm using. So my biggest focus for my personal hair is just moisture. And like I said, 
I, I pretty much have that in check because my hair is thriving right now. And you'll be able to feel the difference when your hair is in optimal protein and moisture balance. Uh, also, before I forget, a lot of people talk about protein sensitivity. I don't necessarily believe in protein sensitivity. What I believe in, and a lot of people that say that their hair is protein sensitive are usually people that have virgin natural hair that don't heat style their hair that often. And if they do, like they're just like me and they just blow it out just for a trim. Um, when they incorporate any type of you know, protein, and if, if it's a little bit excessive, your hair will feel drier. It will feel a little bit more brittle and you know harder and all of that because you don't need the protein. The protein is there for, the protein is there to fill broken gaps in your amino acids. So if you don't have any chemical process that has broken that down, your hair has already have enough protein. And the little protein that you do need, you can get from a reconstructor, such as your Apple G2 Minute Reconstructor. So I didn't want this to be a long video, but. I hope I broke that down in a way that's easy to understand. I know it's a lot of information, but I want you to really truly understand when you need moisture and when you need protein. You need moisture when your hair is dry and it needs a boost in softness and elasticity. You need protein when your hair is chemically processed or heat stressed and your hair is brittle and weak. Okay, so... Um, hope that answers um, those of you that sent me those questions about pro moisture, moisture and protein. And I uh, hope that helps the rest of you. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions for me send, me, send it to me in the email if you want it to be featured in this series. And be blessed. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.